Akabo Wakatu. This is Daku, your DC area black power and black supremacy representative. And today I want to talk about solutions. But the reason I had to introduce myself as the black power and black supremacy representative here in DC is because many of you might think I got soft. Because I've been gardening. <laughs> Growing collard greens and mustard greens and turnip greens, kale and broccoli. Y'all saying this dude, he don't represent the red, black, and green. He simply has a green thumb now. So y'all think I got soft because I'm advocating growing our own food. There's nothing soft about gardening. There's nothing soft about feeding your own people, feeding your family. What's soft is when we have to go to our oppressor or that go to those that we may consider our friends outside of our community to feed us. But we cannot feed ourselves. We will not feed ourselves. But we're here to talk about solutions today. And what we're gonna talk about today is going to disturb a lot of people. There's one solution that many of us talk about, but don't word it in quite the same way that I'm about to word it in a few seconds. You say, well, get to it, Daku. What's the solution? The solution is that we need to go back to being slaves. <laughs> Now, I know that some of y'all are thinking this brother cornrows are just a little too tight. Did this Bama just say that we need to go back to being slaves? Yes, we need to go back to being slaves. You say, I know this dude was a little strange. <laughs> I knew we couldn't trust him when he supported and defended the brother King Noel. <laughs> I know we couldn't trust him. He's an enemy to our community. He's an agent. Y'all throw that agent around, that agent word around an awful lot without having no facts and no understanding. The only agents you need to think about are the people that constantly say that the solution is that we need to purge ourselves of those in our own communities that have been victims and victimized by racism, white supremacy. Those are the agents you need to worry about. But if somebody's telling you that you need to grow your own food and produce your own food for your own people, that's not a damn agent. But I digress. Again, let's go back. We need to be slaves, y'all. Straight up. Don't be afraid of being a slave. You're a slave every day. You're, you're a slave to all things. White supremacy. And you don't have no problem being a slave to white supremacy. In fact, you're proud of the fact that you're a slave to white supremacy. You try to convince other people in the black community how to go about being a better slave to white supremacy. So what kind of slavery am I talking about? I'm not talking about being no goddamn slave to white supremacy and white supremacy slave culture. I'm talking about being a slave to your children being a slave to our spouses, being a slave to black liberation. When you look back and study slavery, which many of us are so conscious that we don't even want to see that no more. Don't show me that story. I don't want to see, I don't want to hear about slavery. It's not that we need to avoid the story of slavery that half a chapter, not even a chapter, that couple of paragraphs in our history as we've been on this planet millions of years. 
Some say billions of years. Like they don't have no idea how long you've been in existence, black man and black woman. So you don't have to be afraid of that two paragraphs of history. We need to study and examine slavery. We need to understand slavery. When you look at the Caucasian and all of his wealth in Europe, America, Canada, yes, Canada, and all over the world, you have to ask yourself, where did this wealth come from? And too many of y'all keep saying, well, you know, if we just give our life over to Christ, then he will make sure we're prosperous. Now, if we submit ourselves to the will of Allah, we'll be prosperous. But ask yourself how all of these people that you want to emulate became so prosperous. They used slave labor and extremely cheap labor. You got to study the history of slavery. In slavery, we had a few days off during the year. We had Thanksgiving, the holiday of horrors. We had Christmas, the Merry Mess. We had July the 4th. That's right, July the 4th. Wasn't no Black Independence Day. But you popping off more fireworks in celebration of the white man's independence more than the white man and white woman are popping off fireworks in celebration of their own independence. You had a few days off a year. Every other day you had to work for free to help to sustain and maintain and increase white supremacy. Increase the wealth of the goddamn white man. So we need to be slaves to our spouse. We need to be slaves to our children and slaves to our community. We need to be slaves to black liberation. If we don't have no problem being slaves to what we put in our mouths. Slaves to sugar, slaves to soda, slaves to drugs, legal and illegal. As I heard Dr. Africa say back in the 90s, that your liver don't know nothing about the legality or illegalities of drugs. It processes these toxins the same. But we use these drugs every single day. We're slaves to, we can't live without the drugs. We don't have a problem being slaves to drugs. We don't have a problem being slaves to toxic foods. We don't have a problem being slaves to alcohol. We're slaves to our jobs. We're slaves to the white man's of money. But we don't want to be slaves to each other. I do what I want to do when I want to do it. I don't give a damn about what nobody say. I'm free to do what I want to do. I don't care what my spouse say. I don't care what my children say. I don't care what the community says. I do what I want to do when I want to do it. Because I'm free. You sound like a goddamn fool. You are not free. You are slaves to white supremacy. If you're gonna make a move that's gonna do more harm than good to your children, then you gotta say, I'm a slave to my children. I, I can't make that move. If you're gonna make a move 
that's going to do more harm than good to your spouse, your relationship with your spouse, then you're going to have to say, no, I'm a slave to my spouse. I'm a slave to my relationship. I can't make that move. You're going to make a move that's going to do more harm than good to your community. Then you got to say, no, nah, I'm a slave to my community. I can't make that move. That has to be how you keep yourself in check. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that we're under attack. So any move that we make, the agents of white supremacy can use that move against us in our community. Because they don't sleep in their desire to stay in the position that they are in. So they're going to use whatever it is. They're going to use your music. You love music, right? So they're going to get in the heads of the rappers and the entertainers to have them spit some lyrics. And you're going to be like, yeah, that's tight. I like that. Now you want to internalize the lyrics that your favorite rapper or singer has performed. Same with movies. Your favorite actor or actress is in this movie depicting him or herself in a certain light and you internalize it. Why do you think they got so many white successful relationships on television and so few black successful relationships on television or in the movies? Because in order to keep you oppressed, they have to keep the family divided. We've given you, based on the Akawu, the six levels, which could really be four levels of survival. There's individual survival, there's family survival, there's community survival, there's national survival, there's racial survival, and there's world survival. But if you don't even have family and community survival, national survival, then where are you going to be positioned on the world stage? We are participating unknowingly in the white man and woman's gender war. Their gender war has been going on for centuries. But because you are joined at the hip, to white supremacy, whatever white supremacy problems, whatever problems white supremacy has, you also have. Whatever they suffer from, you suffer from. So they feeding their own people GMOs. You eating the same food their people eating. So you eating GMOs. Their people alcoholics. Your people alcoholics. Their people drug addicts. Your people drug addicts. They convince themselves that they don't have to reproduce themselves. You convince yourself that you don't have to reproduce yourself. That a job and their money is more important than a family. It's because you are joined at the hip with white supremacy. Hmm. Nothing you do, no move you make is independent of white supremacy. Hmm. I was reading where a woman in Texas was arrested because she was practicing natural hair care without the goddamn white man's license. And some of y'all will say, yeah, you do need, you know, you need to get a license to practice business. Do you know what a license is? <laughs> a license 
A license is a permit. And a permit is you seeking permission to practice that which you've been practicing long before your contact with the European. But now all of a sudden, you gotta have permission from the European, from the goddamn white man, to practice something that's natural to you. So she gets arrested. You say, yeah, of course. Of course not, cool. You're supposed to get permission. Don't you know that? My mind is focused on black independence and black liberation. And the more conscious you become, the more difficult it is for you. It's going to be very difficult for you to continue to participate in white supremacy slave culture. It's going to pain you to do it. We're going into Valentine's Day. And we about to spend all our money with the $2 we got left because we just spend most of our money on Halloween, Thanksgiving, uh, the holiday of horrors, Christmas, the merry mess, New Year's Day, we spend all our money, alcohol, and bullets. Y'all heard them bullets popping off all night? What y'all celebrating New Year's with the white man for? Why do other people celebrate their New Year's when life begins to show again? in the spring and why does the white man celebrate the new year in the middle of the goddamn winter but you celebrate the new year right along with the white man so you threw all your money away on these four holidays it's going to take you all year to recover and you say ah oh, it's valentine's day we got to take this little two dollars we got left because we didn't give all our money to the white man <laughs> And we gotta give them the rest of our money. But we gonna have to hold on to that nickel because you know that Easter's coming up. So we gonna have to save some money to buy some new clothes. <laughs> Slaves to white supremacy slave culture. There's nothing that you do that is moving you towards independence. You say, yes, uh, we're educated. We read you the article from a few years ago, the Bloomberg report, and how education ain't nothing but for-profit education. So now you all got all these people with degrees and can't find work. But they still got to pay that money back, though. <laughs> white supremacy, slave culture. Again, you have no problem being a slave to white supremacy. But you have a problem being a slave to your own people. Everything that you invest into white supremacy is helping to sustain and maintain white supremacy. But a white man's heaven is a black man's hell. A white woman's heaven is a white is a black woman's hell. That's just a fact. You say, nah, Daku, because I got, I got a nice penthouse. I got my own elevator come to my penthouse. White people can't even ride my elevator unless they're going to come for repairs. You got a penthouse in the white man's building. You think you're free. Because you're in the white man's house. That's not independence but you don't mind being a slave to the goddamn white man. And for us, it has to be a voluntary slavery. <laughs> we have to love our own slavery experience as much as we love being enslaved by white supremacy. We need to love being enslaved by black independence. Yes. I'm gardening. That don't make me no less of a revolutionary. 
that makes me more of a revolutionary. And you need to join. You need to join Operation Black Independence and play your part in helping your people to be independent of not only white supremacy, but Chinese supremacy, Japanese suprem supremacy, huh? White Indian supremacy, white Arab supremacy. You need to join us as we move towards black independence from all. We want to be liberated from all forms of supremacy, except for black supremacy. You must be able to rule over yourself. And if you cannot do that, then you are not free. You are simply deceiving yourself. Join Operation Black Independence. This has been Daku Akabo Wakatu.